Shalom, Yashallah, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Most High Yahweh. I do so in the name of His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Yasharallah. Call Haloyim Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Harakakudash, for blessing our elders with the spirit of truth so that we may know. Shout out to the Akim and the Akwaf that's keeping the faith in the work. Shout keep at it. It's your brother Abaya coming at you with more precepts. This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 8, and verse 17. It says, I love them that love me, and those that seek me early shall find me. Right? The Haobashim Yahweh says, I love those that love me. And right? according to 2 John 6, love is keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. And, um,. One of those main commandments is trust in Yahweh. Right? Love the most high with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. That strength is trust. You have to trust in Yahweh by seeing Yahweh shot. And you gotta start doing it now. Right? Because he loves those that love him, and those that seek him early shall find him. So if you're trusting in him now, you'll find that trust now. Cause he's worthy. He's worthy. To place that trust upon right I myself can testify on countless times countless times right of being in situations and instead of trusting in my abilities trusting in my funds or trusting in people that's around me put my trust in Yahweh Yahweh Shai and him showing and proving who he is right but like I said like script says you got to start doing that now. Don't put off, right? Don't put off tomorrow what you can do today, right? Make haste to find your how about Shimi Hawa Shai, right? Let me see. Go to the um, sign book, Proverbs, but um, chapter 18. And verse 10 it says, The name of Yahweh is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. All right? The righteous are not trusting in weaponry, are not trusting in dollar bills and coins, are not trusting in, in their loved ones, and yeah, they're not even trusting in themselves. Right? Because the name of Yahweh by Shimei Shai is a strong tower. Right, like I said, like I said, um, just now, I, I myself can testify many a times, being in situations where the only thing I can say is Yahweh, 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 Yahweh Shai, or Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai, constantly over and over and over again, and it's doing something to my spirit, or it's doing something to that situation, and it's moving that situation out of the way, or it's calming my spirit down. It works, man. Right, it works, but all all of that comes through faith for real. For real. first and foremost, your how about Shimei Shai got to be dealing with you in order for you to even have that faith. Right, the spirit of Yahweh by Shimei Shai has to be dealing with you. Right. Um. Let me go to the book of Hebrews. Um, Hebrews chapter 11 and verse 6 says, But without faith it is impossible to please him, for he that cometh to power must believe that he is, and that he is a reward of them that diligently seek him. Those that seek me early shall find me. Right? I love them that love me. That love comes through faith. Faith without works is dead. Right? Like I said, Second John 6 says, Love is keeping the works of the Most High, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of the Most High. James 2 says, faith without works is dead. You must have faith. Revelation 14 and 12 says, faith and works go hand in hand. All right? And in fact, that's part of the patience of the saints, those that keep the faith and the works. The works 
are, are like I said, the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. The faith is believing that Yahweh Shai did what he did, that he existed, that he did what he did for you. You know? But you got to get that in now. Because if you ain't been paying attention to what's going on in the world, Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, Rosh Hashanah, this is it. This place is over with. It's done. And if you, if you haven't been testing that faith, testing that trust now, <laughs> and you wait until you rightfully have to see something, it may be too late, man. I'm not saying it is or it's not because I'm not the most high. But it may be. Only thing I can do, uh, only thing I can do is go off of what Scripture says. And Scripture just said, those that seek me early shall find me. Meaning they not waiting on all hell to break loose to start trusting in you. How are you doing that now? All right. Go to the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 7. Says, Blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh and whose hope Yahweh is. Right? Can't make that up, man. It's a blessing to have hope in Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai. It's a blessing to be able to put trust in Yahweh. Right? So they just think about this, man. So many people around this world don't believe in the most high because they put their trust in what they believed is the most high based off of what Pastor Pochop told him. But instead of them calling on Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai, right, they calling on Cesare Borgia. And they calling on God. And they calling on Lord, thinking that that's, those are his names. And it's not. So you have something that people have tried, but they didn't try correctly because the most high wasn't dealing with them. Right? It's a blessing to have that trust in Yahweh because you know him. Right? The book of 1 John chapter 2 says, How you know him is by keeping these laws, statutes, and commandments. He that saith I know him and keep him not his word is a liar and the truth is not in him. It's a blessing for you to even have the spirit to be attempting to keep this word, man. All right? It's so many levels to the spirit of of, um, of holiness. It's so many levels to Haraka Kodash. All right? And to be operating in those levels is a blessing. But the level that we are speaking on today is trust. Trust in Yahweh, man. Trust in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. He will not let you down. Right? His word says, watch this. Go to the book of Matthew. Matthew 28 and verse 20. It says, matter of fact, um, Matthew 28 and 18, it says, And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world I am that's the word of the Most High. I'm with you always, even until the end of the world. Right? A faithless mind cannot see that. Yahweh by Shimmy Yahweh Shai is with you right now. An unbelieving mind cannot see that the Most High, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai is with them right now. So it's impossible, it's impossible them, it's impossible slot for them to have faith. Because in order to have faith, you must believe that he is. We just read it in the book of Hebrews. All right? The blessing of trust. Trusting in Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right? Let me see. Um, go to the book of Baruch. Baruch 
book in the Apocrypha, chapter 3 and verse um, verse 6. It says, For thou art Yahweh our power, and thee, O Yahweh, will we praise. And for this cause thou hast put thy fear in our hearts, to the intent that we should call upon thy name, and praise thee in our captivity. For we have called to mind all the iniquity of our forefathers that sinned before thee. When you trust in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, you have then the ability to be able to call on his name. Right? Like I said earlier, people out here calling on Sesha Borgia, calling on God and calling on Lord, thinking that they're really calling on the most high and they not. Think of you, for example, whatever your name is, and say you out and about, all right? And say, I don't know, you get in a dangerous situation, whatever that situation is, like it's life-threatening, it's dire. It's a dire situation, all right? And someone knows you, or they think they know you, and instead of them calling your name to get your attention, to get out of, out of that dire situation, they calling on some random individual's name. All right? Chances are you're not going to pay any attention because they're not calling your name. All right? Instead of calling your name, they're saying friend or buddy or dude or, you know, anything opposite of what your actual name is. You're not going to respond. Yahweh is the same way. Only difference is he's not the one in the dire situation. We are. We're in that situation. Well, the most highest people are in that situation because they don't know his name. And like I said earlier, that causes a lot of the most highest people to not even believe in him. Because they've been taught their whole life. All you got to do is just call on God. And he'll get you out of that situation. And when the situation comes and they go to calling on God, don't nothing happen. They have zero understanding about the situation. Zero understanding about why he's not answering. It's because you not you haven't been told the truth. Which means that your opportunity to be able to trust in Yahweh has really been taken away from you by the individuals that have taught you falsely. All right? But all praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Harakakodash. You know, we, we operating in the spirit of truth, spirit of holiness to the best of our ability and the most high Yahweh chose us from before the world even began to know his name. To carry his name in the wicked world. Right? To call on Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai with all faithfulness, believing that he hearing you. And believing that he doing something for you. All right. Um, we'll go to the book of Psalms. Matter of fact, it's a lot. Um, let me go to the book of Proverbs. Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 9. The explanation of why the majority of the Most High's people call on God and Lord, and instead of calling on the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, even though the Most High has placed His Spirit in men to be able to go out into highways and hedges and bid who He will to the marriage, to be able to make video epistles, right, uh, to have you working around these individuals. Some of these individuals are in your family. You notice, you, you hear the gospel, you hear it, but instead of you listening, you keep it moving or you mock. The reason why your prayers are not being answered, this is the book of Proverbs chapter 28 and verse nine. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. That's why the Most High ain't answered you. That's why you've been taken through that situation with no understanding about the situation, about why you in that situation, 
No understanding about why the Most High is not answering your call. It's because you're not being faithful to his word. It's because you're not trusting in Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai. That's his name. His name is not God. His name is not Lord. His name is not Jesus. The letter J wasn't invented until the 16th century. That's the son. That's the so-called son's name, right? Or uh, that's the son's so-called name, Salah, in this world, right? But that's not the father. And like I said, Jesus is a made-up name. So you're not calling on his name, but you got men of the Lord that the Most High has chosen to carry his name in this world. But the majority of the Most High's people refuse to hear that because they can't. It's a blessing to have ears to hear and eyes to see. That's Matthew 13. All right. We go to um, Salah. Go to the book of Psalm. Psalm chapter um chapter seven and verse ten. My defense is of power which saveth the upright in heart. That's what the most I deal with. Cause the upright in heart. First and foremost, they're not praying for worldly things. The upright in heart is praying for knowledge and wisdom and understanding, just like our forefather King Solomon did. King Solomon could have prayed for anything. He could have asked the Most High Yahweh by Shem Yahweh for anything. But what did he ask for? Wisdom. Not even for himself. Wisdom so that he can uh, guide the Most High's people. Because he understand what an honor that is and the level of responsibility that it holds. So when the world looking at you talking about, well, man, you, you, you a man of the Lord, that nigga broke. That man out here got that working like this and doing that. And he barely getting by. That's because you operate according to this world. Script tell us to store up our treasures in heaven where moth can't get to it. Script tell us don't worry about tomorrow, worry about the day, let tomorrow worry about itself. Be content with what you got. Because the most high know what you need and he gonna give it to you. All of this stuff is vain anyway. One of these days is gonna be gone. Either it's gonna be gone or you're gonna be gone. Right? So why pray for it? Pray for things that carry on into the next. Knowledge, wisdom, understanding, love, life. All right? The upright in heart is who the Most High deals with. Those who are operating in the spirit of holiness and truth to the best of their abilities. That's all we can do. That's literally all we can give. 100% effort, man. And just trying. All right? And when you do that, we go to the book of Psalms, chapter 34, and verse 7. It says, The angel of Yahweh encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Guardian angels, bro. Right? I caught up in a situation. I, I spoke on it on the video a while back. I was out speaking. And if I'm, I don't even know, buddy, if he lived or died, but somebody got gunned down, like, I want to say five, five, six feet away from where I was speaking. All right. Dude that got shot walked by me. Dude that did the shooting walked by me. As though I wasn't even there. All right. When you love the most high, you fear the most high, you try to know the most high, you trust in the most high, you believe in the most high, you got faith in the most high, you how about Shemiah was shy. It's like he puts a shield around you, right? When certain chaotic events happen. 
And scripture talks about, it speaks about some real deal chaotic events to come. Civil War, World War Three, famine. All right, and so much more. But if you're trusting in your how about Shimmy outside, you ain't got to worry about that, man. Because he going to bring you through. He going to protect you. He going to feed you. You will have thing. You will have water to drink. All right. And uh, let me see. I guess I'm gonna close out with this. I'm gonna go to the book of Sirach. which is Ecclesiasticus chapter two and verse ten. Matter of fact, verse 9, it says, Ye that fear Yahweh hope for good and for everlasting joy and mercy. Notice it didn't say, Ye that fear Yahweh hope for the house on the hill of riches or status. It didn't say that. It said, Hope for good and everlasting joy and mercy. Those are the things that the upright pray for mercy. I'm talking about every day, if you can. Every day, mercy. All right, it says, Look at the generations of old and see, did ever any trust in Yahweh and was confounded, or did any abide in his fear and was forsaken, or whom did he ever despise that called upon him? All right now, think about this. How many murderers, adulterers, right? Straight up wicked individuals have called on God and Lord and Jesus when they got caught up in some bull, but they still got took through that thing. And nine times out of 10, when they got took through that thing, they lost all belief that they could possibly have had for the most high. But the individuals that's calling on the name of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, it don't matter what they go through. Because at the end of the day, even when they're going through it, they know they're going to make it through. They know that first and foremost, when you come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation. Prepare thyself for temptation because it's coming. You already got that understanding. That's a blessing from the Most High. You understand whatever it is you're going through. It's a part of following the most high. So not only are you having that understanding, you're going to gain knowledge in the midst of going through whatever, you, whatever it is you're going through because that's the most high dealing with you. So you're not just going to go through it and then go about your day. You're going to go through it and go into the scriptures in order to get more knowledge on what you're going through. The most high deals with the upright in heart, man. All right, but well, I thought that was gonna be it. I'm gonna bring out one more script, and that'll be it. Most high with so I'm gonna go to the book of Zechariah. Zechariah chapter 13 and verse 9. This is when you really want your how about Shimmy Hawashi to hear you call his name. All right, it says, And I will bring the third part through the fire, and I will and will refine them as silver is refined, and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name, and I will hear them. I will say, it is my people, and they shall say, Yahweh is my power. All right? The benefits of that trusting in Yahweh ultimately leading into your salvation and entry into the kingdom. All right? So with that, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Ratazah. These precepts in this video were edifying. Call Hello and Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Hashem Harakakudash Shalom Yashalom.